Welcome friends and collectors. I have an awesome treat for you today. I am stoked to be able to show off and review the 124 scale classic construction models Caterpillar D9 Dozer. This version has the semi-U or SU blade and a single shank ripper. This model is also available with a U blade and a multi shank ripper, so really pick your poison. All right, let's start off as we always do, a brief overview of the packaging. What you don't see here, again, basically because of space, or lack thereof, this came in a brown outer shipping box, which is always nice to see. Once you open that, you're greeted with this, which is the now standard classic construction models black box with the cat logo, blueprint outline drawing of the machine, and a description down here, cat D9 dozer with SU blade, and single shank ripper 124 scale precision die cast model. All right. Let's turn it the right way around here. Lift the top up. Take this off. All right. A couple housekeeping things first. Here is the brochure that comes with both the D9 dozers. As you can see, this is where your serial number would be. There's a picture of the dozer on it. And when you open it up, the left side has technical specifications and the right side has standard and optional equipment. Both of those, obviously, for the real D9. You can read up on that. And the back has yet another photo. So that's the reprint spec brochure. Also inside is a bag containing a pointer tool as well as an Allen key. There you go. I have already undone a bunch of these, which were plastic twist ties that keep the model safe during shipping. We will remove the top piece of styrofoam. Remove the tissue paper. And now you can get the glimpse of the D9. It is mounted. It isn't now because I undid the twist ties. But when you get yours, it is mounted on this piece of material, which is quite nice, actually. It's very sturdy. And it also acts like a base. So if you want to put your dozer on a base, you can use that, which is actually included in the box. So that's quite cool. Once you are done with that, your model is complete, out of the box, and ready to be displayed. All right, continuing on with the video, we got a lot of ground to cover, so I will try to do this as conclusively as I can. For those interested in the model's dimensions, this is a 124 scale die cast model. It is very big, it is very heavy. For the approximate dimensions, it is 13.5 inches in length, 5.4 for width, and 6.5 for height. A little bit about the real Cat D9, the new D9. Nearly 50% of all Caterpillar large dozer sales are D9s nowadays. With a wide variety of blade and attachment options, the D9 dozer is unmatched in reliability and long life. It is powered by a Caterpillar C18 440 horsepower EPA Tier 4 engine with a planetary power shift transmission. The D9 has an overall operating weight of 110,225 pounds with a blade, depending on configuration, but usually around a blade capacity of 17.8 cubic yards. That's some info on the real one. Let's now take a look at the details on the model. As you can see, this is the current and accurate trade dress for Caterpillar, otherwise known as the Modern Hex. And all of the decals throughout the model are very crisp, they're very eye-catching, and they're very well done. You'll also notice some other smaller decals throughout the model, such as some warning labels here, and some tie-down labels on the track frames, just to name a couple. All right. The paint and markings, all of these, all of this on CCM models, they are always approved by Caterpillar themselves, so you know you are getting as close as you possibly can to a replica of the real machine. All right, so as I said before, this version has the semi-U blade and single shank ripper, but you can also get a U blade and multi shank ripper. Really, both are still available from CCM, and it's really whatever one you would prefer for your collection, if not both. Okay, some more details. We obviously have an access stairway here, which can be folded down. This is how the operator gains entry into the cab of this machine. Once he is in, you clip it up and out of service. All of the handrails, the grab rails, metal protection, they are all to scale and mostly metal. Here you can see on top of the ROPS structure, on top of the cab, you can see various details, which include an orange-amber light, 
as well as some work lights, to name just a couple. Moving towards the back of the model, the detail gets even better. We have more lights, we have liquid filler caps, and obviously their lids. The Ripper looks realistically busy with hoses, cylinders, and connection points. On the Ripper, you can see this piece of tape right here. Hopefully that's coming across on your computer or your phone. That pin is removable, so if you want to take the Ripper shank out of your model, you just remove that pin, and the Ripper shank will drop right out. Moving towards the right-hand side, here's another crisp cat modern hex graphic. Another detail that I love on this model, and I was going to touch on it in functionality, but I might as well get it out of the way now, the rollers, both the top and the bottom, they are functional, meaning they do spin, which helps the tracks move. In fact, if you just turn the sprocket here, the elevated drive sprocket, you can actually move the tracks, which I think is really, really cool. Here's another access railing. Of course, you would grab onto that to get into the cab. Always want to have four points of contact, people. Moving along to the front, here's another sharp cat modern hex graphic. And if we look at the blade, you can see that it does have the visibility perforations actually cut out, which is super cool to see. Moving towards the bottom of the blade, you can see all of the bolt detailing on the bottom or the cutting edge, as it's also known. And if we look at the machine from the top down view, you can see the large exhaust, the air cleaner. The cab has two opening doors, along with both front and rear windshield wipers. And that brings us back to where we started. All right, let's transition now to functionality. We will take a look at some of the working parts on this model. I've already showed you the ladder, but just because it's fun, let's fold it down one more time and then fold it back out of service. Also already showed you how the tracks move. They are individually segmented and linked tracks. Quite honestly, guys, they work phenomenal. They look really good. They're also spring-intentioned. Okay. Historically, larger scale models always allow for more detail and more working features. That is the case with this model, absolutely. So, let's take a look at some of the opening doors. The cab door on either side of the model will open. And it's hard to pick it up on camera, but the interior is so accurately modeled up to and including actual heads-up display and information on all the instrument panels, your pedals, your levers, your foot controls, everything is there. And of course, what would an operator seat be without the cat logo on it? All right, so if the opening cab doors aren't enough, let's take a look at some of the opening engine panels, the access panels. This is where the supplied pointer is really helpful in getting this open because it is such a nice fit. This side is rewarding to look at because if the light hits it just perfectly, it is vented and perforated and see-through. That's not a decal that's actually indented and see-through. And if you look really close, I'll try to point it out with the pointer. Hopefully it pops up on camera. But right here is an actual oil filter with the cat decal on it. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's open up the same one on the corresponding side. Same thing. Stick your pointer in. Open it up. And you can see that there's different mechanical components on this side, so it's not just a cut and paste. It is accurately replicated of what the engine service panels look on the new D9, which I think is awesome. Well done, CCM. All right, so that leaves us with the main functionality, and that, of course, would be the ripper and the blade. On this sample model, the blades are, and the cylinders for the main blade are extremely stiff, so I am not going to go up as far as this thing will go because I don't want to break it, but I will show you that if you want to bring the blade up without forcing it too heavily, use your muscles here, I can get mine to go to about there, which is pretty reasonable. It's in scale. It's about right. You can also tilt the blade forward, so let's go ahead and do that also very carefully. Again, not going as far as it possibly can, but enough to show that there is more cylinder showing, indicating that you can get some tilt forward and back. Okay, let's bring this thing back down to earth, no pun intended. Drop it down. Again, it bears repeating. The cylinders are exceptionally stiff, so when you buy yours, please, please, please be careful with it. Finally, to the rear ripper, you can lower it. 
to about there, which is underneath the machine. In fact, it will raise the back of the tractor off the ground. And then you could also tilt it so you can get an aggressive cutting angle if you wanted to mimic your D9 cutting into your favorite tabletop. All right, guys, that'll do it. That is the 124 scale classic construction models, the new D9, this one with the SU blade and a single shank ripper. I got to tell you guys, this thing is absolutely incredible. These large 124 scale models, yes, they're expensive, but my God, a lot of heart has gone into replicating this. And you can really tell. This will certainly be a center point or a discussion point for any of your family or friends that come to visit you on your place. And instead of having books or whatnot on your coffee table, why not have a nice Cat D9? If you are interested in buying one or the other or both, at the time of this video's publication, they are both still available from ccmmodels.com. So go ahead and place your order there. And do me a favor, tell the good folks at CCM that you found this review very helpful in making your decision. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.